What's up, nerds? So I watched the latest episode of Secret Invasion. I apologize that this is so late, this uh, breakdown and everything, but I promise I won't take up too much of your time. And I'm not going to waste any of your time with all my thoughts real quick. I'm just going to get into this breakdown, and then I'll tell you as we go along what I think, and then I will also tell you at the end what I think of this whole episode and this show so far. All right, so let's break this sucker down. In 1997, Fury meets a young Gravik and counsels him while giving a speech to the Skrull immigrants, promising to find them a new world. Okay, you can't just promise something like, I'm gonna find you a new home. You can't promise that. That's like such a huge ask. I'm sorry, but like, that's so crazy that he would be like, I'm gonna find you a new home. <laughs> Plus, this starts this whole thing of them trying to take over the Earth. This just sounds like Gravik and the Skrulls are just little bitches. In the present day, after escaping from the bombing attack, Fury learns from Talos that there are a million Skrulls living on Earth amongst the humans. A million Skrulls is a lot. I mean, I understand where Talos was coming from, but I'm just like, you brought all of them to my house. And I did like when... Fury was all like the host is the one that determines, you know, the rules and everything and the guests, you know, you follow the rules and angered Fury parts ways with Talos. I don't know if this was the best thing for them to part ways, but, you know, it happened and later meets with Hill's mother, Elizabeth, to explain the circumstances of her death. I did like the line where she was all like, that guy told me that my country owes me a debt of gratitude, but he won't tell me where my daughter died. Apparently facts are not owed in that debt. I really liked that line. It's so true. I also thought it was, I don't know what the right word is for, but I really liked when her mother was also like, she believed in you, Nick Fury. She would have followed you to the gates of hell and back. And I did like, Samuel Jackson's face with that. And she's like, I don't know why my daughter died, but don't make it for nothing. And I thought that that was really good and also impactful. As the United States is implicated in the bombing attack. You know, this kind of stuff really pisses me off. I mean, fuck you, Marvel. I mean, this whole FXN, it's just Fox News, you know, and... And it's, I hate this shit. They're just trying to be more divisive and stuff. And they're trying to believe, be in politics. They've obviously learned nothing, you know, from phase four. And I don't watch Fox News either. So don't give me your bullshit in the comment section because I don't want to hear it, okay? I'm not defending Fox News. I just think it's bullshit. I don't like to see this crap. Gravik meets with members of the Skrull Council who express disapproval of his actions. Gravik reminds the Council of Fury's failure to deliver on his promise and appoints himself the new Skrull general with the majority in favor. Again, I think that it's fair that Fury offered them something that he couldn't deliver on. But I also go, Gravik's being a little bitch. I mean, like, I ain't get my way, so I'm going to throw a fit about it. I mean, get the fuck out of here, dude. Get, the, get off my planet. I don't want you here either, fucker. And I'll tell you right now, I'll die before I let you take it over, fool. Council member Shirley Cigar, who refuses to submit, secretly contacts Talos, who asks her to set up a meeting between him and Gravik. You know, good for this council member because she stood up to him and was like, I'm not going to submit. Unlike that pussy that he got karate chopped in the neck and he he gave up real freaking fast. I was like, what a fucking pussy, yo. He got put in his place real quick. And I also really liked it when she was all like, we did not become homeless refugees because we were unwilling to wage war we ended up homeless refugees because we were too willing i do not support your coup or support your war and i do not submit i thought this was really powerful speech and he was all like this is why i need you sister in london fury meets with colonel james rhodes and explains to him the scrawl threat to fury's dismay rhodes gives him a military discharge due to his presence at the bombing attack which escalated the tensions between the United States and other international governments. I don't know. This was an okay scene. I did like the fact that Fury was like, just because you take away my title, you think I'm going to stop being Nick Fury? I don't think so. Fallsworth arrives at a butcher shop where one of the Skrulls, Borgen, is imprisoned and interrogates him. Again, I love Olivia Coleman. I love how she walked in there and that guy was all like, the door was locked. And she's all like, yes, and I came in anyway. So I think that tells you about me and duels. And then she goes back in there and she starts hearing it. I like that she cut off the dude's finger and it, it shapeshift back into green. 
I thought he would shape shift back into green, but I was like, whatever. Uh, they don't got the money for that stuff. But then as soon as she cut it off, she's like, all right, let's party then. I was like, that's good. I like that. I like I like you, Olivia Coleman. I like you a lot. And then I also like how she she's like she got into that little escape tunnel and she was just like she had her bag, but she was all like one one. I was like, good on you. Don't get your bag all dirty. I was like, I like this. She learns that Gravik is building a machine for the purpose of strengthening the scrawls, and the scientist couple named Dalton is involved. So this is the part where they're they're what they're doing is they're making super scrolls. And if you read the comic book, super scrolls have it was it was scroll scientists that created uh using the powers of the fantastic four to create the super scrolls so the super scrolls which are very few of them they have all the powers of the fantastic four gaia secretly discovers that the scrolls are experimenting on various alien samples so i don't like gaia she's been kind of sidelined as far as the character from the comic books goes plus her name in the comic books is different i can't remember what it is off the top of my head because she's the scroll queen but also they're not using the powers of the fantastic four because the fantastic four haven't been introduced yet so they're using the powers of groot the frost beast from thor obsidian from thanos's crew and then the extremists from Iron Man 3. And I mean, I guess that kind of works, but I don't really know. It's not going to be, I, I, it, it's not going to be cool, in my opinion. Like, the, he's going to have the Groot hands because we saw that in the trailer, but I'm like, I don't care. I really just, I, like, at this point, I just don't care. Afterwards, she accompanies Gravik on a mission to rescue Borgen. This was kind of cool in this terms of, like, I liked the, you know, shooty, shooty, bang, bang, and everything. But my whole thing with this is just, We've seen way better versions of this, like an extraction in, you know, other shows where we have martial arts and stuff like that and in gunfights and stuff like John Wick and stuff. So we've seen better versions of this. It's just Marvel at this point, either step up your game or get the hell out of here. Suspecting him of having talked, Gravik has Borgen executed. I thought this was unfortunate that he killed this guy. It just for some odd reason, it just tells me that. Gravik doesn't care about these people. He just is using them to get what he wants, and that's power. I don't think that he he cares. Later, Fury returns to his home where he is greeted by his wife, Priscilla, who is a scrawl. So it's like, what? Like, he's smashing the green poom tang. You know what I'm saying? He's all like, bad scrawl, bad scrawl. I'm like, get some, Nick Fury. But at the same time, I'm just like... Does their alien, you know, physiology, you know, meet with our physiology? It's just, uh, does two become one, if you get what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what scrawl physiology is, but maybe she's a, maybe she's got a super scrawl vagina. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. And so that's where the episode ended, you guys. And I have to say, overall, this episode was really boring. I don't see how this could be a Marvel show. I did think that there was some stuff in there that I just was like, okay. But overall, it's just, it's just boring. I'm just not having a good time. I think that Marvel really has let us down. They haven't stepped up their game. And I don't think they're going to. I mean, I, this was pretty much in the bag before, you know, phase four was done. And I just, I don't know. I think, I don't think that this is going to end in a satisfying way. I just, Almost wish it wouldn't have been. I, like I said before, if they had just at least captured the essence of the comic book, I think that that would have been great. But they didn't, and they're not going to. And at one point, someone says, what if the Avengers shows up? And I believe it's Gravik that says, I've got that handled. And he's talking about the Super Scroll. But it doesn't matter what Super Scroll... Like, one Super Scroll cannot defeat the whole Avengers. And I just... I don't know... I don't think this show is going to be that great, and I don't think it's going to end on a satisfying note. But we'll see. We'll see. And I have the right to change my mind. Just this episode was not going to do it. All right, you guys. As always, if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm. And small channels like mine, we just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. And as always, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next Secret Invasion Breakdown and Review. You guys have a good week. Bye.